the teams doing so far this year? Well, so far, having a pretty good year, besides their three losses, of course. It's definitely upsetting losing twice against Wataga, especially after last year. We wanted some revenge this year. If they came to our house and beat us, but unfortunately this year we couldn't get it done. But I think in, a, in some ways it was good for us because it'll help us down the road more in playoff games and tougher pitching and it's just a good opponent to good preparation for the playoffs. But now, besides that, we're doing pretty good. Now tonight you play Wilk Central. You won 17-0. Uh, do you think those kind of games are good or, or, or like good to win like that or bad to win like that? Well, it just depends on who the team is. Wilk Central beat High Brighton 10 to nothing earlier this year, so High Brighton's a good team. That's one of the few games they've lost. And hopefully High Brighton will hear about us beating them 17 to nothing and get a little... A little scared, yeah. A little scared, yeah. Um, now, there was some controversy tonight. And uh, mostly all the players heard you know, what was said and what went on. And uh, But how, how do you fight through that? How do you deal with that? We love... We, we love controversy and... What's the word? Adversity. Challenge. We love adversity. It helps us fight through it. And we like to challenge. And people are going to hate us because we're South Caldwell. Because every team wants to beat us. And then uh, looking on to this Friday, you play McDowell at McDowell. Now, last time McDowell came in, you, you beat him. Uh, how do you feel about this this uh, weekend's game? Well, we're confident. Um, since we beat them last time, we're tied with them in the conference right now. And a win right here will give us second seed going into the playoffs. And I believe second seed is the best way to go in. And uh, But it's definitely going to be a challenge for us. They're a good team. But we just got to... Uh, Set goals and reach them and do our thing. Now, last year, you uh, you were one of the younger guys on the uh, Spartan baseball team. How do you feel coming in? Uh, as you, how do you feel your senior year is going so far? Offensively, I think I'm doing pretty good. Got a lot stronger over the summer and a lot stronger before the season this year. It's helping me out a lot. Hopefully, I can take it into the playoffs and do good. Now... Three games left in the regular season. You have McDowell Friday, then you have AC Reynolds next Tuesday, and then next Friday, May first, is Senior Night. How do you feel about Senior Night? You pretty, you ready for Senior Night to come? Yeah, I mean it's gonna be a little bit sad, of course, because it's gonna be our last home game. Hopefully not. Hopefully we'll get some in the playoffs, but it could possibly be our last home game, and that's pretty sad. Knowing it could possibly be your last time playing in front of the home fans. I'm confident we're going to win. Just might get a little emotional. And for the 2009 you know, high school playoffs, how do you feel, how do you feel so far? Well, we're confident, of course, because we've got a great coach that's had experience in the playoffs. And we've got two pitchers that are experienced, that have playoff experience. And, and me, I, um, I was part of the team last year playing four games in the playoffs. They're all they're all intense, they're all great games and they're all a challenge. Every team's gonna fight you. But we're confident as a second seed, hopefully we'll be a second seed going in and that's really the way to go. Um we might go might not get as many home home field advantages but I mean we ain't got any pressure being the number one team and I think we'll just get the job done and we'll do our thing. And uh, what was not only your goals but the team and the coaches' goals for this 2009 season? Well, all the players and coaches have one goal for the season, that's the state championship. And anything less than that is going to be a disappointment. How do you feel about uh, Zach Greer? Um, well, I love having Zach in the middle with me. We we go out and compete every day and practice against each other and see who can field the most balls and make the least errors. And we, we challenge each other each and every day. And I think we work great together in the middle and I wouldn't I wouldn't trade Zach for anyone else in the world over there a second. And one more thing I'd like to add, I would I would like to thank everyone who has stood behind us this year and throughout all the years and thank you for your support and stay strong with us in the playoffs. We'll bring back the state championship. Okay.